Hey, hey, you guys. It's your favorite little keto goofball diamond, and today marks five years, 173 days of my ketogenic journey, going from 311 pounds, 29 medically diagnosed diseases, to me today. And, you know, I'm going to give you an update video, a little short video clip, but I'm also going to show you something that's kind of wild <laughs> to me anyway. I hope I kept it. I think I kept it. Anyway, I'll explain this whole thing, this whole mess in just a second, and everything we're going to get, my keto day, weigh-ins, all that stuff, just like normal, but I'll just didn't do a video, and I'll tell you about that in a second too. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, all that good YouTube jazz you ain't done yet. It's time to rant, rave, and misbehave keto diamond style. <laughs> So, I almost didn't do a video for two reasons. One, Hubby's been watching the Rocky movies all day. I know he made it to part four, and I think there's five of them. I, I know there's five of them. I stayed up all night, one night, watching them. Love me some sly. Love him. Anyway, <laughs> um, and the second, well, the reason for the Rocky movie thing and, and me not filming is because they play, play Eye of the Tiger a lot on those movies. And every time I tried to record, it started singing. This would have just been demonetized, and I'd be like, well, duh. Well, now get yourself out, fold yourself, and hang yourself up. Where's my Rosie the Robot? <laughs> Come on, now. Future was supposed to be great. All right, whatever. So, the second reason I almost didn't do a video is I think I'm fighting laryngitis. Um, I'm not positive. Obviously, I haven't went to the doctor. I'm not going to the doctor for something that's going to go away. Um, but I do know some people in our area that have it that I, to my knowledge, haven't had contact with. But it's a small town. Things that go around kind of go around. So I, I do think I'm struggling with that because to get this good, I had to cough, clear, cough, clear, hum, all kinds of stuff just so I could get here, you know? I gotta take all this stuff over to Destiny's. <laughs> so there you have it. But uh, yeah, my my voice is not doing super super well. I'm hitting the hydration. Did take some vitamin C and some other stuff. So hopefully, fingers fingers crossed. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a struggle, but it'll go away. You guys know any keto friendly cough drops? Sure, they have them. Um, face is broken out, PMS. It's just not my week, but that's okay because keto went good yesterday. And I think I might have found a keto snack that tastes good and works. That's one of the rarest things on the planet, but <clears throat> I won't know for sure until I've had it a couple times and went down consistently. But I'm going to show it to you anyway. I hope I didn't tell you guys yesterday that yesterday was an OMAD for me. Because I, I was thinking that like all day long because I had forgotten about some stuff. Well, yesterday afternoon, I had went to Burger King for my husband to bring him some food back. And I ordered me what I thought was a Bacon King and I was going to take the bun off. Which is just, you know, meat, cheese, bacon, plain basic stuff. But I ordered a double bacon stack. Stacker. <laughs> and I didn't really realize what it was. And it was like a cheeseburger size thing. And I was like, oh, okay. So I took the bun off. And then there was some kind of sauce on there. I never felt bad. I didn't feel affected. My way in went good. So I hope either it wasn't enough to affect me or it's keto friendly. I really don't know. But um, yeah, it was, there was something on there. And I didn't, I didn't really know. I didn't know what I was ordering. I thought, like I said, I thought I... In my mind, I was ordering a Big Bacon King, but that's not what I said, and that's not what I was looking at on the picture. So, <laughs> yeah, I ate that. And after I had had that, I stopped by Foodline to uh, go in and get a few things for the house. Um, 
Y'all know groceries are really expensive right now. Corey and Aaron ran out of money. Was having a hard time feeding Anthony. Uh, we, nobody went hungry, don't get me wrong. I, I immediately said, well, you know, you know where the cabinet is. You know where the refrigerator is. Make yourself at home. But I kind of realized they still had a couple of days till payday. So I stopped by there. Well, they had one day. So I stopped by Food Line to get them some groceries. <laughs> I got Anthony a couple things that he could eat. Some things for Corey and Aaron to eat that I know that they like that would, you know, suffice till the day when they could go pay day and get groceries. All right. So, anyway, while I was there, y'all know I should not be on this aisle. The diet food aisle. Because <laughs> 99.99% of the time, it don't work out. Now, I had this yesterday, and I had that little bacon stack. Uh, probably about 1.30 in the afternoon. And, uh, I thought, well, you know, surely it's going to affect me, but whatever. The bacon stack probably did anyway. Although, again, I never felt bad. My feet never swelled, swelled, sw they didn't get swollen. I never get, got bloated. I didn't feel bad at all. So, I'm hoping that, you know, it worked out. Although, there was a long time between this meal and the next one, which I'll show you in a minute when I do the weigh-ins. But, I didn't record the bacon stack because I was... A little disappointed and I wasn't taking it back and I wasn't wasting it so you know but anyway I had this this is a quest bar um, I don't know what kind it doesn't say we're just a man and we're on the mic and we were oh sorry shut up and get me demonetized <laughs> hope my singing don't get me demonetized that is the most pathetic version. Uh, just for YouTube, I don't own the copyrights to that song. Alright, so anyway, I see it now. It's called Crispy Cookies and Cream. I wouldn't show you this except for the fact that I did go down. And again, it was a long time between I had this and my last meal of the day. So that might have been why that I did go down. Um, but I hope this works out. This is good. This actually tastes good. Most of these ain't that good, and they hard, and they're weird. This, the crispy part, uh, I, what are those little, um, I used to get them all the time before I started keto. Like, crunch bars? They had little crispy air pockets in them. Um, these, this has this. It's like a white chocolate-covered air pocket thingy. Please work out. Please work out, because this is good. I, I need a Hail Mary, a saving grace, a little bit of a snacky snack that I can have that actually works for me. Please. <laughs> is it too much to ask to have a couple? Because I think, I think as long as I could do Chalk Zero Bars, if they would sell Chalk Zero Bars individually instead of that whole daggone pack, because I will eat that whole damn pack, especially at PMS time. That's probably why I got that. <laughs> PMS. What do you want from me? But anyway, it worked. It worked out yesterday. Whether it's going to work entirely, whether it will mess me up every other time after this, I can't be sure. Well. <clears throat> I can't. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Damn, what was I talking about? <laughs> I forgot. I hope this works out for me. And then I had some other food, which I'm going to go ahead and show you the weigh-ins from yesterday and today. Also, note, because it does go along with weigh-ins, water weight, all that stuff, I am PMSing. Gross, I know. You don't want to know. But it, it does go along with it. It's it's related to weigh-ins, weight loss, diet, exercise, all of it. It's all connected, okay? It's all connected. <clears throat> so anyway, let me go ahead and do the weigh-ins and clear this stuff up again. Hmm. Alright, you guys. Monday morning, 167.6. Alright, you guys. I got bacon, egg, and cheese chopples with mayonnaise. Today, I'm having a second one. A second one. I don't know if my voice broke or not. All right, you guys. Here's my calendar so far for January 2023. You can see most days I mean well, but the scale doesn't actually act well. However, that's a good one. 
<laughs> Again, explaining to people that, that might not know, this calendar is just kind of a visual representation just to let me see kind of how well I really am doing. Uh, the blue days are days I was perfectly keto. The scale went down. It went really, really well. The pink are days that I thought I did well, but the scale didn't really indicate that too much. I didn't go up, but it didn't really drop. The green are cheat days. Absolutely. Um, I cheated. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Tuesday morning, 166.2. So yay, um, down 1.4 pounds um, of its fluid, so that's not fat, uh, or it, it might be a minuscule amount of fat in there, but I'm holding a lot of fluid, so it would be impossible to really tell which one's fluid and which one's fat. But as far as my clothes went today, everything fit better, <laughs> so that 1.4 pounds may, have, may as well have been five. And, and sometimes that's weird because you can gain three pounds of water weight have your pants be a little bit tight, but lose a pound and a half and and, and feel like you're floating in them. <laughs> you're just like, yay. Um, but there's sometimes you can gain one pound of water weight and feel like you gained 50. It's so weird how fluid works, especially when you go to put on your, your, your boots and they're too tight. And you're like, really? I wore those two days ago and they was fine. But such is life and such is keto and such is fluid. My hair looks a little bit better today. Nowhere near as oily. I had to wash it twice with shampoo and not touch it with conditioner. I've always conditioned because right this minute it's this big ball of static. And if anything gets near it, it cuts. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it, it's better right now. It's not perfect, but it is better right now. Um, definitely much, much better. But as you can see, still a bit oily. And when it's oily, it's heavy. And when it's heavy, it looks even thinner. And it's just like... Oh, and by the way, if you if you see my fingers are blue, I am. it's not like lack of oxygen. It's I took off my blue nail polish, and that nail polish, it, it, it like absorbed into my skin. I've, I've, I've re-rubbed them down with nail polish remover. I scrubbed them in the sink. They still just blue. So, <laughs> hopefully, in a day or two, the blue will be gone. That way people at work don't think I'm dying. But, uh, yeah. Um, uh, you know, it, it's funny. I'm, I'm a little worried about my sleep because I tried to sleep last night. But for some reason, I didn't go to sleep till after two something. And then part of it's my fault. I didn't lay down until after you one. What? What? I love you, silly bug. I love you too, silly butt. bug. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I only got like five hours and 12 minutes of sleep last night. I did do pretty good with the deep sleep. I had an hour and five minutes of deep sleep, 28 minutes of uh, REM sleep, but that five hours and 12 minutes of sleep, I was awake for 46 minutes or apparently by my Fitbit. Uh, now again, I don't know if it's accurate. That's just the only matrix I've got. It's only the, the only measurement tool I have for sleep. So yeah, uh, whether it's accurate or not, I couldn't tell you. But that's what we're gonna have to go with because that's what I got. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, it's funny because I think I've told you guys this in the past at some point. <clears throat> Around Christmas time, I always start losing my voice for a couple weeks. It's usually not that bad, but it can get bad. And the best thing to do is to shut the hell up. But <laughs> have y'all met me? I am not good at shutting the hell up. Not even kind of sort of, not even a little bit. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> even when I become a squeak toy. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll wake up in the mornings and I can't even talk. I have to like uh, 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 do all kinds of noises and hum a lot to try to get my voice back just so I can speak. And it didn't help the day in the car. I was singing my ass off because I was by myself. <laughs> In my little mini keeper. Hello? Hi. Hi. What you doing? Gotta clean the cup. Oh, okay. Have fun. It looks gross. <laughs> um, yeah, those cups will get gross. By the way, if you have water cups and bottles, um, you need to take the little plastic pieces off of them, wash around them. They will get mold under them. So clean your cups really well. 
Um, I might go a day or two without really, really cleaning my cup, but I always rinse it out and wash it off. So, yeah, just, just, just word for the wise. If you, if you've got a cup you use frequently, make sure it's clean. You don't want to have mold and stuff in your body. You, it's not good for you. I'm wondering if the, okay, so I'm allergic to everything that can be used as Christmas trees. And if somebody has a Christmas tree that is real, like, you know, out in front of Walmart or Food Line or something like that. I'm wondering if this has to do with the Christmas trees people are throwing out or something like that. I don't really know. But something blooming, something dying, something going on. And about every year for a couple weeks, my voice gets really, really bad. It has moments throughout the year, but it gets super bad, you know, during the year. All right, I hear him turning on the next Rocky movie. So I'm going to have to get off here before they start singing Eye of the Tiger. Which, I do love that song dearly. And I don't blame him for watching it, but <laughs> it'll demonetize me. Anyway, you guys, if you need help with your kids' journey, my contact information is below. And I'll answer anybody's questions you might have, and I'll help you all I can. There's also a bunch of playlists on this channel that you can watch me at my biggest, go all the way to my smallest, and, and grab a little bit of it back. But that's all right, because I'm maintaining, and I could be gaining. So we'll take that. Remember to make it ex mojito. There's ways to support the channel in the description below. Much love. Many prayers. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.